the sights We are the wonders He opens our eyes We're under His cover Now we arise My sisters and brothers Do you know the time? Do you hear the thunder? Sometimes I remember a feeling that felt so good Oh, sometimes I remember a feeling that felt so good <laughs> Okay, so welcome. You are tuned into Active FM. I am your girl, Nazi Lee, and I'm not here alone. I am with... This is your boy, Gloa, right here on Active FM. And today we have the honor of interviewing Limo Blaze, one of the biggest Afropop artists right now, um, into Christian gospel and all of that. So it's a very, very exciting day. Yeah. We thought before we would get into the interview questions, we would start off with something just to sort of break the ice just a little bit. So we are going to ask you on the spot to do two accents of our choice. And then you have to uh, pull them off the best you can. So um, can you do a British okay. accent for us? Mm, okay, I told, I told her before, she was being a wuss. What? <laughs> I tried. That's all I can say. <laughs> no, that was awesome. <laughs> that, was that was really good. And then do you yeah. have... Okay, so the next accent that we would like you to try is the most typical one, which is the American accent. Oh, that's pretty simple, huh? It's... Pretty simple. Uh, my name is Samuel Ongrika Jr. I'm from Nigeria and I make that for beat music and I could keep going on and on if you want me to, but yeah, that's pretty much it. An American accent is pretty much a part of my daily, 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 daily life. So it's not exactly an exercise for me. 
What? <laughs> that was okay. that was that was really really good. Yeah. Um, just to kick off the interview, tell us how the name Limo yeah. Blaze came about. Oh yes, so uh, my my actual name is Samuel Emo Omobiko Junior. So if you put Samuel and Emo together, you get Samuel Emo. So the Limo comes from Samuel Emo, oh, and wow. then the Blaze is just something something on fire, something that is burning. So yeah, that's how Limo Blaze came about. Pretty cool. Wow. Okay. Um. So the next question that we have for you, basically, yeah. Um. Active FM as a whole follows you, um, on your social media yeah. pages like Instagram, and we've noticed that you have quite an impeccable taste in fashion. So we wanted to ask you, where does that come from? I, I don't know if it comes from anywhere. I I mean, looking good is good business, bro. I like. To- uh, <laughs> yes. So, yes. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, so obviously your followers look at your outfits, they look at what you're wearing and they're like, I want that. Do you in the future look at going into sort of the fashion business, maybe selling stuff, or is it just something that you just want to look good? No, definitely me having my clothing line it's, has always been part of the dream. Uh, I'm usually one person that if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. So the only reason I haven't started yet is because I don't have enough capacity to do it right yet. But the moment I do, I am going to launch out fully. But it's definitely in the pipeline. We are going to be looking out for that one. Definitely. Okay, so our next question is, what, basically, what talent do you have that your average fan or listener wouldn't exactly know about you that is not public, if I can say? Uh, I'm an actor, like I act, I love acting. I'm a great actor. So yeah, if I wasn't making music, I'll probably be an actor. All right. Like so that is, yeah. that is incredible. Um, we read up just a bit about you just to find out a little bit more. And it, uh, spoke about the fact on Google, correct Google, if they're wrong, that you at the age of eight years old were singing back up in the choir. And I just want to take you back to that little boy in the choir singing back up. Did you think that at this point in your life, you would be as big as you are right now? Or did you have other plans for your, your life? Did you have other dreams for your life? At eight years old, I wasn't even singing back up in the choir. I was the lead vocalist in my children's choir. Wow. So I was actually only singing. But it was, at that age, obviously, I wasn't thinking I wanted to become an artist. Yeah. yeah. I was always going to be a medical doctor because, like, I was always a brilliant kid, top of class every term. <laughs> and so I was, the dream was to actually be a medical doctor. Uh, I think I wasn't really convinced if I wanted to, do music like the actual dream to make music other than just me writing to myself at home and enjoying it probably came around when i was 14 15 years old thereabouts all yeah. right all right okay um so our next question just with regards to your music what is your creative process like like when you're going into the studio uh for me it's like for different songs it's different but the most common theme for me is, I love to hear beats first of all. If yeah. the beat inspires, if I am not producing myself, I love to hear beats and if the beat inspires me, uh, the first thing I do once I play beats is I just start freestyling melodies to it and I record my melodies and then maybe I'm, I'll record like 10 to 15 melodies in one song and then I start playing it back then. I pick out the melodies that I believe are the strongest and then I start writing to them. That's mostly how I, how I, right. All right. And then we wanted to find out if there was one thing you had to change about the industry, what would it be? Oh, uh, I think it's pretty bold to call. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what exists outside of Nigeria per se. But if I'm speaking to Nigeria, it's a pretty it's a pretty bold to call what we have in the gospel scene in Nigerian industry. I don't think an industry exists. Yeah. Uh, it's just a, like everybody doing their thing. Uh, I think the one thing I detest the most when it comes to like the gospel music scene is uh, what do they call it? Uh, 
my church, my church, my church, denominations. Yeah. I don't like the idea of denominations. And it's really killing, it's really killing what people are doing because we're now in a phase where people are like, oh, we only listen to this person from my church. We only bring this person from my church. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy out here. It's not supposed to be so. If I had the power to eliminate one thing, it's definitely be that. We're all Christians. We're all one family. It shouldn't be any, you're this, you're Pentecostal, you're this, you nah. Definitely. Wow, that is amazing. Okay, so going into our our next question, like of all your music and like all your songs that you've created, which one is your personal yeah. favorite? I think favorite. I've made I've made a ton of songs, man. I don't think I can pick out any particular song and say it's my favorite because I have a favorite per time. Because okay. for me, most songs is where I'm at in a season. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right now, my current favorite song is mine. It's mine. Prior to that, it was probably Your Love. Yeah. Your Love, mine. So I can't, I can't pick any particular one. There was a season when it was my story. The song I did with that truth, my story. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right, speaking of mind, a very brilliant song. Um, I want you to walk us through the music video. Um, what was the inspiration behind that music video? Yeah, uh, the music video, the aim was to tell the story of a young guy who had a past. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so the storyline is symbolic for every young person who used to be in a place where they existed without God's continuing presence. And then they finally encounter Christ and then Christ begins to change them and they move away from the ungodly lifestyle to a life in Christ. So that was the symbolism of it all. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is really dope. And then moving on to our next question, like who are you looking forward to collaborating with the most in future? At this time, I don't even know if I still, if I have anybody in mind that I would say I'm looking, because the person I'm looking forward to collaborating with the most I, prob I already have, it hasn't been released, but I already have. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I have a bunch of people that I really love that it would be great to work with over time. I just worked with my sister, then I'm one out from Congo. I think I'm in a season where I am more interested in working with artists from Africa. I'm more interested in working with my African brothers. Yeah. So yeah, I work with Dena. Uh, I I love Dr. Tumi. Yeah. I yeah. think definitely that's one person. Yeah, that's one person I I could do something with in the future. Uh, I've worked with Pompey from Zambia. Always open to working with Pompey. I love him. Super talented dude. Abel Chungu, Faith Faith Musa from Malawi. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, just, just a bunch of guys. Yeah. All right. So musically, would you say you've reached your goals or are you striving to for more for bigger heights? And what what heights are you striving towards if so? I'm just starting, but I'm, <laughs> I'm just starting. I haven't reached any heights. No. Yeah. I haven't. And probably a year from now, we'll probably have. 5,000 people at a stadium singing the songs and hearing the name Jesus. And I still would probably have just started. Wow. Oh. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, knowing yeah. that obviously because you do music, you're also a rapper. And we wanted to know who is currently your, apart from yourself, who is your favorite Christian rapper? My favorite what? Christian rapper. Uh, easy. It's always going to be Lecrae and the Truth. Yeah. Yeah, Le Crayon, that shows are, my, are my favorites of all time. Then followed by KB. Yeah, and then my yes. my bro Halvey. My bro Halvey is really in a season that I'm enjoying. Yeah, but those are my favorites. All right, and then um, we just want to know um, a little bit more about the song. Okay, just um, basically, can you just tell us about the song and basically um, the inspiration behind writing it? I mean, the song OK really just talks about how God's love is sufficient, like it's more than OK. 
like even if visibly uh by physical things you don't get to see the things you feel like you need but as long as you're sure and you have accepted you have uh accepted the, the fact because it is a fact that god loves you yeah then you're good because his love is okay his love is more than okay his love is more than you will ever need his love is ever satisfying and it's all suffice yeah that's pretty much what the song okay is about just a song to remind people of how amazing god's love is yeah yeah so for our next question we just wanted to know at which point in your life did you know that god is real for sure that god is real for sure yeah i mean uh for me i've actually had a special relationship with god even when i was a child even when i didn't really have a personal relationship with him yeah. it was always special because God's hand had, had always been on my life. I'd had, I've had way too many this can only be God moments. Mm. And yeah, like I've known since I was a child, like God is too real. Like I've seen it play out way too real. Yeah. What is the best advice you could say you've ever received? Uh, one from two actually. One from the truth, I remember he told me in 2017, he was like, bro, stay close to the ground. No matter what happens, no matter how successful you become, stay close to the ground. Because if at any point you fall, then the drop will not be a hard drop. Wow. And then I remember another really good advice Lecrae gave me. Lecrae told me, he said, bro, It'll come a time when you probably would have something you're convicted about. But before you take open actions about it, you need to ask yourself if this is a mountain you're willing to die on. Because hmm. if it is not a mountain you're willing to die on, then maybe the timing isn't right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, so everybody wants to be successful, but we want to know what yeah. habits do you, do you have basically that helped you throughout your career? I mean, first of all, everybody defines success differently. Yeah. Uh, but I'll speak to myself though. Uh, for me, I've always been about making the main thing the main thing, mm. which is why I make music, which is yeah. to be of service mm. to God's people. And as long as your heart is in the right place and you're working really hard, because I work really hard, no mm. cap, I do work hard. Yeah. And my heart is in the right place and everything eventually just falls into place. The problem is too many people try to play God, try to make a name for themselves using the Lord's name. Yeah. 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 That's a mistake a lot of people make. Meanwhile, he has given us the ultimate uh, card to it. He says, seek first my kingdom and every other thing will be added. If you do that, he's going to give you everything. I'm yeah. even proof of it. So, yeah. What would you say to the young person right now who is going, huh, I do want to live the godly life, but it's just not cool. Just my friends won't understand it. I'll probably lose influence. Being godly isn't cool. What do you say to that young person? First of all, going on the days that being godly isn't cool. Being godly right now is totally cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm super cool. Like everybody who sees me knows I'm a super cool dude. Is it about the clothes? Fam, I dress well. I live yeah. a good life. <laughs> so what exactly isn't cool about living a very peaceful lifestyle that you have an overwhelming amount of peace and you know that God is with you and then you can walk freely. You are not scared. You are protected. What exactly is not cool about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, so throughout your entire life like even now how has your work with christ been it's a journey it's always going to be a journey and it's always about growing yeah and working yeah. with christ so yeah it has always been a journey 
with every passing day, you get to experience God more and more. I get to go experience God more and more. You get to learn his habits because God has habits. You get to learn his habits. Yeah. And you also get to discover yourself through him. And yes, the important thing is just be growing. Don't stay stagnant. Yeah. And then we want to know what's next for you. Um, where, what's next for uh, Limo Blaze? Oh yeah, right now I'm working on putting out an album which will be out soon in the next few months. Album, music videos, hoping the world opens up so I can I can tour. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. A lot of music, ministry, touring. Yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you very much. It's really been a blessing having you here. Uh, we've learned a lot, mm -hmm. taking down a lot of notes uh, after this interview. Thank you so much. It's really been an honor to interview you here on Active FM. You're welcome and it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank, thank you. you so much. that has been an interview with Limo Blaze right here on Active FM. Yeah.